my name's Rob Allen, I'm um, on the reserve wardens on the site here. Um, my job at the moment at least is to go out and uh, put some food out for all the swans that are coming in. So the swans that we've got here are hooper swans coming down from Iceland. Uh, it's about a 900 mile journey down here. Um, and they come, they come down to us largely because we're uh, in a lovely sort of roosting spot, this big open lake, the mere we have here, uh, surrounded by a lot of farmland, so that's lots of food for them as well. So they all come down here and we put a little bit of food out for them in the afternoon just to bring them forward so people can have a look at them. Um, and the other thing of course is to keep off the local farmers fields. The food that we're putting out, the grain, the, uh, the potatoes, uh, is exactly what they get in the area around here. Um, but if they're here feeding, they're obviously not out on the farmers fields taking their food. So it works both ways, it's, it's good for the public to see them good for us to educate people and it's good for the farmers. We've probably got around about uh, 1,200 swans uh, on site at the moment. There's probably about 600 uh, waiting to be fed right out there. We've also got uh, pink-footed geese. We'll have up to 20,000 of those, um, usually at dusk and dawn. Um, and a few thousand uh, duck as well. So we'll probably have a uh, pintail, popchard, uh, shell ducks, all of these coming over from the continent, uh, as well as uh, mallard and the like who stay with us all year round. We do a feed uh, at a swan link high, which is our long hide here, um, at 3 o'clock. And then we do a commentated feed at uh, our second hide at 3.30, so if you miss the first, you get a chance at the second. They're very good at judging the time from the position of the sun, so they all come in at uh, just before 3 o'clock to this hide and then swap over to the next hide for 3.30. Um, they do tend to pair for life, so we see the same birds coming back year after year, uh, bringing a new, new brood of youngsters with them. If you look out there now, you're going to see uh, birds that are quite grey looking with white bills instead of the, the yellow of the adult hoopers, and those are youngsters. Um, they probably come down to us at about three months old. Um, and uh, yeah, they have broods of between about three and seven. We know we've got a brood of nine out there at the moment, but we think they've adopted a couple uh, to, to add on to their, their usual number. So yeah, just take a look and see, uh, see what's out there. You'll see plenty of broods of youngsters.